Remember the scene from Harry Potter where everything in Gringotts used to multiply when touched? Well, we have something similar in our world as well. It's not magic, but math magic, where an irrational mathematical constant E comes into picture. But why does it have the value of 2.712828? And what has it got to do with that Harry Potter scene? Well, the answers to all these questions lie in the infinite growth of $1. Imagine you have $1 and you put it in a bank at the rate of interest of 100% compounded annually. Then by the end of one year, you will have $2 with you. Now imagine the interest is compounded semi-annually at the rate of 50% every six months. Then by the end of one year, you will have $2.25. Now imagine that the interest is compounded quarterly, monthly, weekly, daily, or infinitely every moment. Then by the end of one year, what you will have is $2.71828, which is nothing but E. So E is the number that your dollar will reach with infinite compounding done over a period of year. And even with this infinite unending growth, your dollar will never exceed about $2.7128. It will not even become a complete $2.8. Quite a bummer, right? So unlike those lucky folks at Gringotts in the Harry Potter universe, in our world, E tells us that no matter how infinitely we compound, our rooms are not going to fill with money anytime soon. So maybe do not quit that day job just yet.